Hi, I'm Nikki from Find Me Crafting. Whenever I'm in need of a great baby gift, my go-to is a crocheted hat. They're adorable. Everybody needs to keep the little baby's heads warm. I like to pair it with a coordinating outfit. But my one complaint is that crochet tends to not be as warm as I would like it to be because of all the holes. So I wanna show you today how to line a hat with this super warm fabric. It is so much easier than you think it's going to be. And you can use this technique for any size hat and even one with little ear flaps. Come on, I'll show you how. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when new projects and patterns come out. Here's what you're going to need. A crocheted hat, a needle, matching thread, Sherpa fleece, enough so that you can fit your hat on top when the fabric is folded in half. I know this is available at Hobby Lobby, Joann's, and on Amazon. Fabric scissors, a fabric marking pen, pins and or clips, and optionally a sewing machine, which isn't shown here. The first step is to crochet your hat. I make each hat a size larger than I actually want it to be. This leaves room for the fluffy lining so that the hat won't be too tight. I'm going to link the pattern that I used down in the description box and I used I Love This Yarn in Ivory and Black for the hat. I'm also going to link the tutorial I used for the eyes which I hot glued on top of a piece of felt that I freehanded so that you could see them. I chose not to use safety eyes or buttons as called for in the pattern because it's a no-no to use safety eyes or buttons for children under the age of three because it poses a choking hazard. Lay down your lining fabric with the fluffy right sides together. Place the hat down on top of the back side of the lining fabric. Now using a fabric marker, trace just outside the hat itself. Don't draw on your hat, just the lining and make sure to draw an extra one-fourth to half an inch along the bottom brim portion of your hat. If you have ear flaps, trace around those too. Next, use pins inside your traced area to secure both pieces of fabric together. Leaving it pinned, cut along the line that you drew. Using a sewing machine, sew around the outside edge at one-fourth of an inch. Do not sew along the bottom brim area of your hat. If you don't have a sewing machine, you could also use a running stitch, needle, and matching thread to hand sew the edge. If the edge of your Sherpa gets caught under your sewing machine foot, you can lift up the foot every few inches to get the fabric to lay flat. I sewed this line and then sewed another line about an eighth of an inch into the left of it to make sure I had all the fluffy stuff attached. It's not necessary to sew two lines. And in fact, you could just give yourself more of a half inch seam allowance and just sew it once. Take out your pins and leaving the wrong sides out, squish the lining into the hat and shift it around. Line up the seams with the sides of your hat and then using pins or clips, roll the unfinished edge of the lining toward the outside of the hat and line the new edge up just below the crocheted edge of your hat. Continue rolling the unfinished edge and clipping the lining in place around the inside of the hat. It works best if, for the first few clips at least, you work in opposites. Pin the right side and then the left, rotate the hat and pin the new right and the new left. If you're lining ear flaps, fold the lining edge and line it up near the bottom of each ear flap. With a needle and thread that matches the outside of the hat, use a running stitch to sew the lining to the edge of the Sherpa. I put both ends of a piece of thread into the eye of the needle. Insert your needle from the inside of the hat, making sure you're going through all three layers of fabric. That's the lining, the folded portion of the lining, and the hat itself. Push the needle through to the outside, but don't pull it all the way through. Leave a loop on the inside, just on this first stitch. Move over one fourth of an inch to the right and insert the needle going from the outside in. 
Go through the loop you left on the inside with your needle before pulling the thread taut. This knots the thread in place. Move a fourth of an inch to the right and push the needle outward. And then moving a fourth of an inch to the right again, push the needle back in. Continue around the hat until you get back to where you started. When you're done, or if you run out of thread, knot your stitches by creating a loop on the inside and pushing the needle through it as you did to start. Finish off by knotting your thread using a loop and trim your threads. Your hat is finished and not only does it look great, it will keep someone really warm. Since babies outgrow clothes so very fast, I like to attach this care tag to my handmade items so parents know about what age the item should fit and how to care for it. I usually use a piece of yarn to attach it to the side of the hat or other crocheted item. You can get this tag for free on my website which will be linked in the description box down below. Happy crafting!